Hi, welcome to this video lecture. We have, in, in previous video lectures, we have been talking about artificial neural networks and more specifically this multi-layer perceptron model. Uh, now we're gonna focus on, uh, once we've trained a model, how do we evaluate that model to see just how good the fit is. So I'm gonna pick up where we left off in the last video lecture. So if you wanna follow along, I recommend going back to the last lecture uh, to show how we fit this model. We are working with a data set that you can download in the description of the video uh, below. I am going to uh, show you where we left off. So we, we got to this point where we trained our model, we looked at all these epics, we could see that our loss function, which is mean squared error, was uh, it looks low, but we still want to run uh, parity plots and see just how how well we did in our training. So if you recall, uh, we imported this metric from the sklearn toolbox, just to, this is just a, a way to calculate our R squared value. We have trained our model, which we're just calling model, so this creates an object in Python. That object has a lot of information embedded into it. It has our whole neural network embedded in, in it. So if we want to go and evaluate how our model did, we can reference that model object and specifically we can uh, produce training values or sorry prediction values for our y based on our training data so i'm creating this variable called y model train this is these are the the predicted values based on our training data and i'm just running my calling this model object and i'm saying use this model to predict with the y outputs based on my x uh, training data so this is going to run all my training data through my my multi-layer perceptron model and it's going to give me a whole vector actually a whole matrix because i have two outputs uh, uh, of my y values this is what my model will predict i want to do the same thing for my testing data so I'm going to have this other variable y model test and that is going to just be uh, running my same model but now it's going to be using my my testing inputs so those 20 percent that we held out that were not included in the training I am going to calculate the r squared value for both of those cases so I'm just going to run this r squared calculation from the tool that I imported a couple of minutes ago so I'm going to calculate the r squared value between my y this is my training data, this is the, the scaled training data, and I'm going to compare that to now what my model predicts. And I'm gonna do this separately for the training data and for the testing data. So when I run this, uh, this tells me, hey, these are pretty excellent R-squared values. If you remember we had, this was a, a synthesized data set, we had a whole lot of correlation between our inputs and our outputs. So it's not a huge surprise that we get exceptionally high R-squared values. So basically 0.991 for my training data and then just slightly lower than that 0 0.990 for my testing data so uh, it's looking like this model is very accurate and we may actually be able to get away with a model that is a little simpler perhaps uh, with fewer neurons here so we may not need five because um, each of those neurons comes with several um, several fitting parameters that might overcomplicate our model. Well, uh, that's to be determined. Okay, so another thing that I want to do, and I'm just going to do this in one uh, one fail swoop here, I am going to produce a plot, a parity plot, that shows our training data and our testing data. And I'm going to do this um, here momentarily. So if you wanted to, if you're following along, which I recommend, you might want to pause the video here so you can capture all of these commands. So I am, uh, I'm just going to be plotting my training data um, against my predicted training data. I'm going to be plotting my testing data against my predicted testing data. I'm going to be plotting my training data in red and my testing data in blue. This RO means red and then the, the O means, um, Sorry, the R means red, the O means give me a dot for a marker. Um, here the B means for blue and the O means give me a dot for the marker. This line, I'm telling it, just give me this uh, Y equals X line. So just give me a black line that goes from zero to one uh, for my X and then zero to one for my Y. 
this is just my parody line, or sometimes it's called the 45 degree line. Um, and then I, my legend, if you remember, we actually have two outputs that we're fitting here. So we're fitting Y1 and Y2, and all that information is embedded in this neural network that we've just trained, or this uh, multi-layer perceptron. So and then my, so I'm, I'm just gonna run all these commands and look at my data. So you can see both in our training data and our testing data, we have really good alignment. Uh, so these, these data points are falling very close to that Y equals X line, the black line. Our training data looks great. Our testing data looks great. Uh, there's pretty low error in this model.